Good morning everyone, Chris here, West Wickham Health and Fitness, and no, you're not in the twilight zone. It is currently just before 6am, and it is as dark as you can see. Actually, if I turned my lights off in the car, <laughs> you wouldn't see me. So it is dark, but it is quite warm, it's not cold. It's ten and a half degrees and it's five to six in the morning. So I've been awake since about four. I naturally wake up about that time. I usually do about an hour of social media work, whether it's surfing the net and checking things out across all different platforms, reading different articles, um, listening to different people, wondering what's going on in the world. I try to keep her abreast of everything. I try to understand what's going on, but some of the stuff I just don't understand. Um, and I'm really into trying to keep working on a level that doesn't really get disrupted by external factors, i.e. what's going on in the world. And unfortunately, as an empath, it doesn't work and I've been told often that I really need to switch off from media and social media more um, but I am a person that needs to be in the know so that I can try and control what is going on or what's going to impact me today and tomorrow so I like looking ahead I like looking at what may be coming down the road on a personal level, on a professional level, and just on a, well, what is going on? Why is it going on? What is happening? So it sounds quite deep, but that's just me as a person. That is just what I do, who I am. Um, and the thing is, we can't control everything. The only thing we can control is us, ourselves, and the role that we play in not only in our own lives but in our clients lives in our families lives and we can't control things outside of ourselves really and it's a lesson it's a hard lesson to learn because you like to think that you can be a, a bit of a cog in a machine that actually makes a big difference but I'm getting to learn that actually, if other people don't want that, it's not going to change anything for them and they're not going to take part and they're not going to listen and actually they're going to put barriers in the way to stop you getting involved and stop you um, making that change. So all you can do is turn up in your own life be you do you and if you're speaking the same language as other people they join your tribe they come along for the ride they will add value to your life they will listen and they will actually take on board what you are saying and what you are about um, but if they don't then obviously they won't so Put your energy where your energy is welcome. And when you do that, some people around you might not like it. Some people around you might fight against it. But that's when you need to put your boundaries in place and keep walking your path. Keep shining your light and do you. Be you. Yeah? And that's all we've got control over. So again, you might be listening to this and you might think it's a bit cryptic. But I think what I've said today, you can apply not only to your personal life, your friendships, your relationships, uh, your professional life and the bigger picture. You can apply it to all of those areas. And as I said, once you find you, do you put your boundaries in place, people know what to expect or not, and they might not like 
the new boundaries that you've put in place and they will often kick back against it and try and exert influence power and control over you uh, like you've no, never probably experienced before so just watch out for that and once you see it you can't unsee it you really can't and it will just open your eyes to a lot of other stuff that is going on whether you can control it or not and you, poss you possibly can't um, but what you can do is change the way that you respond to it the way that you react to it and the way that it influences you or impacts you uh, and I've learned the hard way I really have um, but now age 53 I am just pursuing health happiness and peace I'm trying very very hard to do that uh, and it's not always easy but you know we do only have one life at the moment that's what I know um, and I am going to embrace it and live it as that so I'm going to be doing more travel I'm going to have more downtime and I'm not going to work as hard as I've been doing because all I'm doing is wearing myself out I don't feel like I'm influencing much um, and it's impacting my mental and my physical health and I've paid a high price for what's happened to me in my life I wasn't responsible for it but I'm living with the impact and by fighting every day on behalf of other people that is also impacting me and not always in a good way so I'm going to still carry on doing that because that is my passion that is my life's purpose but I'm not going to allow it to impact me in the way that it has to date um, because I just feel that life is for living and you've got to start living it when you've seen what I've seen heard what I've heard experienced what I've experienced and you may be in the same place we deserve and need to have a more relaxed happy healthy and peaceful time so that's what I'm going to embrace what are you going to embrace and I think it's quite um, poetic really that I'm saying all of this on Valentine's Day um, because if you haven't got a significant other in your life then how about putting yourself first and foremost give yourself what you need and then that significant other will appear when the time's right for you yep I see so much distraction and pain and dysfunction in so many different relationships and I think every single one of us deserves and needs to put ourselves first not in a selfish way but know you know your own needs and then you'll attract hopefully what it is you need and you can complement that in somebody else so there you go I'd love to know what you think about today's chat and what it's brought up for you 